Alright, let's take a look at the build you saw in the ISA using the Jemadar Vanguard Warship T6 using the Phaser Cannon build. Since the T6 reputation I have the Terran Task Force Phaser Dual Heavy Cannon, then two Phaser Linked uh, Dual Cannons, the Prolonged Engagement Phaser Dual Cannon and the Phaser Quad Cannon. Then I used the Elite Fleet Intervention Protomatter Deflector Array from the Fleet Colony with the, special, the weapon specialization. Then the prevailing fortified impulse engines uh, with the engineering uh, hang for the heel and turn rate, or turn rate on the heels. Then the prevailing fortified warp core for the three piece for the competitive set and the prevailing innervated resilience shield array with the crit chance and severity. And then you would get the two and three piece set. This is hull capacity, special weapon specializations, and the bonus energy damage resistance ratings. Then I used the Tolithium Enhanced Omnidirectional Phaser Beam Array. That um, is for a buff ability that I'll uh, show later on. Then I used the Sensorlink Phaser Turret and the Heavy Biomolecular Phaser Turret. Then the Rep Matter Capacitor, the Subspace Field Modulator, and Battery Energy Amplifiers. Then for consoles, I use the uh, low by store weapon sensor enhancer, the reinforced armaments, which is the two piece with the omni beam, which gives uh, firing cycle haste and flight speed. Then I use the power redistribution module uh, together with the disruption pulse emitter. Uh, as one of the things I still need to get is the bombardment console instead of this one, uh, and this also gives a nice two piece. Then I use the domino console for the phaser damage, the accuracy and the clicky. Then the universal hydrodynamic compensator. Basically only for the accuracy and for the two piece with the, the bio turret. Which gives another phaser uh, damage and stuff. And then I use two colony consoles, uh, phaser and three uh, vulnerability locators phaser. Then for skills, I use a heavy tech focus. For a more detailed rundown, um, check my channel. I have a video there. And then I use intelligence and strategist as specializations. Then for traits, I use a good day to die. Operative. Context is for kings. Fleet coordinator. Inspirational leader. Intense focus, self modulating fire, superior accurate, and superior cannon training. Then for the starship traits, I use Calm Before the Storm, Cold Hearted, Emergency Weapon Cycles, Promise of Ferocity, and Withering Barrage. Then for Space Reputation, uh, I use the Advanced Targeting Systems for the Severity. The shield penetration, the magnified firepower for the bonus weapon damage, the increased crit chance, and the controlled countermeasures with procs with cold hearted. And for the active reputation, use all the space ones. Then for stations, I use the engineering team, or I use the Vanguard engineer, Nyota Uhura, two SRO officers, and the Vanguard Psy. Then I use engineering team one. Ox the Bat 1, Emergency Power to Weapons or Engines 1, Ox the Bat 1, and Emergency Power to Weapons 3. Then Tactical Team 1, Attack Banner Beta 1, Chemicide Laser Weapon 3, 3, Cannon Scatter Volley 3, and Fire Red Will 1, and Mixed Armament Synergy 2, uh, 1, and Narrow Sensor Band 3, and Hazard Emitters 1. The Omni Beam I use for this mixed armaments uh, ability. And I have Fall not because of that beam, but because of the colony consoles, really. Then, lastly, the active DOFs, which I use uh, Chance for Stacking Crit Severity Buff on Firing Energy Weapons, the Space Warfare Specialist against Borg. Attack Brenner Beta uh, restores hull when firing and three technicians. 
plus the new warfare master space increase damage versus all that was this build i uh, hope this was useful uh, thanks for watching like and subscribe and see you in the next one